I think it's quite clear that the Department of Medical Services, our mission is more academic and technical more than services. However, since it has to govern many hospitals nationwide, both general hospitals and also some uh, institutes, many of Department of Medical Services staff, they are still think that they have to do service more than technical. So it's a kind of challenge for administrator to change the concept. Since I uh, start taking the position of DG of Department of Medical Services in October 2017, I have always told my staff that the world is already changing. So we have to also change in order to serve the people need that they need more quality of services from us. So that's why in the first year of my DG era, I try to get more opinion and also brainstorming from our staff in both Department of Medical Services, ourselves and also the area people, all 12 health regions to change our department to serve, better serve our Thai population. I have uh, gone to all 12 health region and also every unit of Department of Medical Services. And I think in the first year, we have already got our vision how to change our mission. The Department of Medical Services is committed to taking care of public health and life with a focus on complicated diseases. There are 32 medical facilities under supervision of the department, including those in the Bangkok metropolitan area and the outer provinces. From our internal brainstorming and also listening to our external client, both from health personnel and uh, our patient, we have concluded that DMS, Department of Medical Service, will reform ourselves in four areas. The first one, we, we start from our uh, capacity. That means uh, we are a kind of specialist. But in the past, we are doing the thing that, you know, the best technique for some few people, we call the best of the best. We try to change that to be the best for the most of the Thai population by reforming our mindset to serve for the whole Thai population. Function reform aims to change the role of agencies under the Department of Medical Services toward knowledge and technology transfer to regional health administration areas, promote clinical research and improve skills and knowledge for medical personnel, including organ transplant, bone marrow transplant, heart disease treatment, and cardiac catheterization. From function reform, in fact, we have uh, around 15 center of excellence. That may be too many. So we try to focus how, to uh, how we can deal with the problem of our country. We conclude that we have four main problem in Thailand that we have to encounter with. The first one is the aging problem. Since Thailand, we are approaching aging society. The second one, uh, since we have many new cases of cancer and the highest death rate is in cancer. So cancer is our agenda, the second agenda reform. The third one is the dark addict. As you may already know that in prison in Thailand, 80% of the prisoners, they are drug addict cases. And the last one, the fourth issue, we have so many silent killers, that is NCD, non-communicable disease. So these four agenda are our agenda reform that we will tackle with within the maybe three to five years, the next three to five years. Agenda reform 
intends to address serious health issues in the country in cooperation with other sectors. Some of the issues are as follows. To deal with the aging society, the department has developed its screening system, data management for transfer, and an all-in-one national database of the elderly with dementia. Regarding cancer, the department is planning to complete 100% pre-screening of colonic carcinoma among the vulnerable groups by 2022. To address chronic non-communicable diseases, the national database of stroke patients will be created to prepare for its occurrence and minimize casualties and disabilities. To cope with drug addiction, the department aims to promote people participating at community level and develop a more systematic care. We know our strength from function. Now we also focus on four main agenda. The problem is in each area of Thailand, the problem may be a little bit different. So we have set 13 regional department of medical service office in each region to cope with the different of each region. And this uh, regional office will tackle all problem in that special area. The office used to be a cancer hospital, either cancer hospital, addiction hospital, or neuro hospital. But when they behave like a regional office, they have to tackle with every disease that DMS take responsibility with and now they are doing quite well to tackle with the problem in each area. In terms of area reform, the Department of Medical Services has established regional medical service offices in 13 regional health administration areas to promote and improve the capacity of hospitals in each area. For example, development of Chalem Prakir Hospital Group and Crown Prince Hospitals include Renal Care Clinic, Dermatitis Clinic and Cataract Surgery Clinic. Specialized medical fields have been improved according to specific local needs, such as sending pediatricians to Si Sangwan Hospital in Mahong Son Province and cardiologists to Saraburi Hospital. All these three reforms can work well if we have a good infrastructure. That's why we conclude that uh, if we can have a system reform, try to improve our infrastructure, we can serve or better serve our Thai population. And that uh, system reform we divide into two main areas. The first one is the people, our staff in DMS. We try to imprint core value into our DMS mindset, that is M-O-P-H DMS, mastery, originality, people center, humility, determination for the nation, moving together and to be specialist. If every DMS staff has this kind of core value in their mindset, we can move forward very well. And the second component will be this kind of digital solution that we try to have a kind of digital reform. Try to change the hospital to be a smart hospital, to be a digital hospital, to better serve the Thai population. And we can conclude as a one sentence in our DMS song that we try to serve our Thai people, care with love and care with technology. Lastly, the system reform involves a development of human resource development that monitors staff enjoyment in their organization, promotes quality of life, and allows staff to work more happily. The digital system reform aims to develop smart hospital from the start to the end of medical services, including appointment, registration, reservation, non-paper prescription, and fee payment. So we need a roadmap to achieve that. In order to get the roadmap, we try to listen to all stakeholders, our staff within our department and also within Ministry of Public Health and outside, for example, the patient or the relative themselves. 
this uh, kind of method we call is co-creation. Think together and do together and evaluate together. And to back up this, we also need to have a kind of good system of good governance. And I'm very sure for the good governance because uh, I have been here in this department for two years. I have found out that almost all of our 18,000 staff in Department of Medical Services, almost all of them, they are very good, high quality of medical professional. The only problem before I came is maybe they are stay in their comfort zone. And I try to invite and persuade and convince on all of them to maybe come outside the hospital to work together within the department and within the Ministry of Public Health. And they cooperate very well. That's why I'm very sure that we can achieve the target of value-based medical services. We can achieve the top three in Asia for the medical services. We can achieve the seamless and comprehensive healthcare. To be the top three of Asia for medical care is not, however, it's not the main objective again. I would like to end with uh, one sentence in our DMS song that I think is very good to convince our staff this. Every breath we take is more worth than the compliment we always gain. Thank you very much. The Department of Medical Services puts the safety of patients on top of the priority to maximize survival rate and improve the quality of life for Thai people. These are the best reward and the value that we have been holding on for a long time. Do that with your mind. Do it with technology. Yeah.